Good morning all. We all strive to be the best we can, but we're never going to be perfect. Phew, <laughs> that's a relief to know. And for every disadvantage you appear to have, there's more beneficial advantages just waiting for you to use. For example, most blind people hear exceptionally well and have far better sense of touch than sighted folk. And they also see better with their mind's eye too. They can sense far more in your voice than you think. Ooh. <laughs> All perfect advantages for anyone, especially a Chikora Reikido healer. When you have a perceived disability, challenge, obstacle or whatever, it's best to acknowledge it rather than ignore or pretend it doesn't exist. Then simply develop those attributes you do have to compensate for the ones you apparently don't have. And that applies to everyone. If you can't spell to save your life, <laughs> like me, get a spell checker. Mine's called Chris. If it's difficult for you to go out, get people to come to you. If you can't swim, stay in the boat. In your imagination, you can still achieve your dreams, but you may have to be creative about the way you set about it. For example, someone asked me this. The fire finger on my right hand is missing from the top joint upwards, having been bitten off by a dog a few years ago. Will this be detrimental to my practicing Chikora Reikido? And I said, well done anyone who asks for clarification. It takes courage to appear foolish, but it shows you've got spirit and determination and a champion sense of humor. Losing the tip of your fire finger is no problem. And you still have some of your fire finger to shoot energy with anyway. Our energy leaks, leaps or sparks from any sharp part of our bodies. For example, elbows, shoulder tips, heels, toes, all your other, other oh, I can't say that, all your other fingers, tip of your nose, and even your gaijin bum. You can control and direct your Reiki energy by using your intention and imagination or your intention coupled with breathing and intention too. So, as you focus your intention, then so will it be, with or without said finger to point with. For where your attention goes, the energy flows. Of course, you may have trouble finding the wind direction, but you could always lick your elbow and stick that in the air instead. Yes, I know, it's impossible. I hope this reassures anyone who thinks they're not quite right, not perfect enough to be able to perform or practice Chikara Reikido. Anyone can do Chikara Reikido. You can't be too saintly or sinning, fat or thin, tall or short, young or old. Phew, <laughs> that's a relief to know. You can have all of your parts or you may have lost a few along with your teeth and hair. <laughs> it's all absolutely okay. You really can adapt your expression of your Chikara Reikido energy to suit you. You're all perfect in your imperfection. Phew, <laughs> that's a relief to know. Now have a particularly powerful Chikara Reikido weekend. <laughs>